Hey guys, I'm back again with another tutorial. Um, today we're going to be doing a pink and white ombre with our newest tips. As you guys can see, these things are super convenient. No more dropping your tips on the floor and having to pick them back up one by one. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna glue on our tip. We're gonna cut the sides and then we're gonna shape this nail. I'm gonna try to go for more of a ballerina, but a little bit more on the wider side gonna go ahead and blend in my tip so after I'm done applying my tip and blending that in I'm just gonna go ahead and dust this thing off and apply some primer to it um, a lot of people think that you have to add a whole bunch of primer to the nail um, you don't at all actually a nice thin layer just over the natural nail will do you just fine moving forward I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pearl of white acrylic I'm gonna start at the end of zone two headed down into zone three now when you're working with um, white acrylic white acrylic has a tendency of being very bouncy and almost sticky like in nature so you're going to notice that i'm dipping my hands a little bit more into the acrylic not dipping my hands dipping my brush a little more into the acrylic liquid just to kind of keep the uh, white acrylic from sticking to my brush Make sure when you are applying your first pearl that you don't make it too thick where um, the second pearl is going to be placed. That way you don't have a super thick, lumpy and bumpy area. As you'll notice, I'm making it a little bit more flatter up at the top. So when I come in with my ombre pearl, it'll be more of a seamless blend. Personally, and this is just a personal preference, but when when I'm doing a pink and white ombre or any ombre for that matter, I like to make sure that the pink that I'm using to blend into the uh, secondary color is a little bit more on the wet side, just so it gives me an easier blend. Um, if your pearl is too dry, it will dry halfway down when you're actually trying to blend. And then it's once you mess up an ombre, it's, it's very hard to fix it. So you want to get it right the first time around. Um, but anyway, moving forward, we're going to go ahead and grab our third and final pearl um, and we're going to blend this down. This might surprise a lot of people, but I'm actually not going to use any clear acrylic to encapsulate this. I'm just going to apply it and move right along. Okay, and once that acrylic dries, the next thing we're going to do is use our file. You can, if you choose to use a e-file, you don't necessarily need one. Um, in this particular case, I did, but I did it off camera. So after we're done doing that, we're going to move right on to our gel top coat. You want to make sure that you use a thin layer. Using a thicker layer of gel top coat sometimes can cause the gel to move a little bit and you end up with a really uneven surface. You don't want that. Less is more in this case. Um, and with that being said, we are all done here. This is the final product. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.